Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. How are you today? I've got a quick video today for you that uh, is going to show you how you can create a content calendar in Trello for your blog, YouTube, social media, uh, basically whatever it is you're working on in your content marketing. Now, I've actually done a video on Trello before and I am going to cover some of the ground again, but uh, I'm going to try and tailor this video more towards the idea of actually having a calendar to plan your content and uh, get all the, all the information down you need um, as opposed to simply just organizing your ideas. So this is what happens. Trello is a free pro is a free program. It does have a few paid um, uh, tiers you can go for uh, if you decide to really go there. It's still fairly cheap. But uh, this is basically the free version of Trello, and I'll show you how to do this without uh, pretty much just using the free version. So we're going to start off. I've already got a board here. Uh, if you uh, basically the idea is with Trello, let's say we're going to do a calendar for our social media and a calendar for YouTube. We might create a board for say social media, and uh, yeah, we're going to create that board. And the idea is if uh, I want to start producing something, I can say, you know, I can go start coming up with, uh, you know, write content. And if I want to add image, maybe I want to say create image or if it's a video, say, you know, uh, produce video, schedule. And basically, let's say that's our basic uh, process. So if we're going to be planning on social media, maybe it's Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Maybe we want to write content. Maybe we want to produce an image, produce an image for it. So I've written a caption, produced an image or a video, and then I'm ready to schedule it in to post it. Now I'm actually going to go back to the boards for a second, create another one. Uh, I'm not going to try and get through this a little bit. So create a new board. And this one I'm going to call uh, core content create board so the idea is in Trello we create these columns and you can put these little cards on there like little little jobs so let's say uh, we're going to be looking at say creating a blog maybe a YouTube channel and uh, we're going to be going from there so the idea is I would say now I go so maybe I've got a just like a general board for ideas so every time I come up with an idea I place it there if I decide I want to act on it I can say write slash plan content so if it's a blog maybe I'm writing up the the original blog if it's a video maybe I'm planning it out and then maybe I'm producing images maybe I'll put producing video here and I'll put there if if applicable and then maybe I'm producing images slash thumbnails so maybe I want to add in there as well so featured image so let's say we've got a blog post or YouTube video let's say we, we write our content we go, okay I'm happy with that we produce the video if applicable if we don't want to produce a video if it's just a blog um, post we just skip over whereas if we're sort of creating a video and we're playing that video then producing it and then we want to say produce images so this is kind of like a little workflow you want to produce images for the blog post slash the video um, so that could be your thumbnail for the video uh, maybe a featured image for the blog post uh, that sort of thing um, and basically go from there and then maybe we, then we go let's schedule that Okay, I'm just going to close this for a sec. So we've got our little board here. Now we'll get back to the social media board at the end, but first I want to do the bulk of this uh, process just here because you can think pretty creatively once you understand how it works. So let's say I've got a bunch of ideas for my fitness website. So I've got here, you know, 20 tips, shred fat, and I've got also five exercises to build muscle. Top 50 healthiest foods and I'm just coming up with ideas rapid fire at this stage how to track your strength progress and I'm just gonna say come up with 10 ideas so it might be you know top fitness gurus on YouTube uh, best forms of cardio for weight loss the funnest ways to keep fit 
So uh, we'll stop there. So we've got seven ideas. So let's say some of these are going to be blog posts. Some of them are going to be videos. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up 20 tips to shred fat. Now let's say 20 tips is pretty long. Maybe I don't want to create a video, but I do want to create a blog post. So first of all, you know, I might start listing my tips here, which might be, you know, um, eat healthy. And I can start to plan the process here if I want to, you know, perform cardio. And I can get this these ideas going pretty easily. One thing I will mention is that there is a mobile app for this. So that way, if you ever want to have ideas, uh, you have ideas while you're just out and about, you can whip out your phone, open the Trello app, go in here and add the ideas into all this. Uh, as you go, you can even add uh, comments, you can add images and attachments. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. It's going to focus primarily on the uh, content calendar. So first of all, I'm going to create a label. If I click on labels here, we get these colors. So let's say I want to create a blog post. I want to say blog posts are going to be blue. I'm going to call this one blog post, blog post. Add that again, we'll go blog post, save. And we want to get this blog post out in say two weeks. So I'm going to go to my due date here. Today's the 8th, I'm going to make it say I want to publish it on Friday the 24th of April and save. So I've basically created a blog post. I've decided now I'm going to do it. So I write and plan when I start writing and planning my content. And of course, if I want to, I'm not producing a video. So when I've written and planned the content, I move it across. I start producing the images I need for the post, including the featured image. Maybe I also have a Pinterest image or something at the top. And then when I'm finished with that, I move it over to schedule. And of course, when I'm done with it, I can right click and archive it. And that's sort of like a workflow of as this job progresses, I can move this card around pretty easily. Now where the calendar comes in, it doesn't look, from looking here, you can't really see that there's any reason to think there'd be a calendar involved. But if I go to show menu at the top here, I can actually, and there's a whole bunch of things you do. You can actually go into this board, change the description. You can also change, do a few things like change the background of the board here. So you can choose a photo or even just a color. So, uh, you know, maybe if we're talking about fitness, you know, maybe we've got uh, something like this. So you've got a few different options here, depending on what you want to do. We'll just go for something easy for now like this. So you can uh, also, you know, get the board looking the way you want. Uh, just worth going in and having a play with that. I wouldn't spend too much time here right now. But what I want to do is I want to add a calendar, which is a power up. You see here it has a calendar. So I'm going to go here to add power up. And I'm going to type calendar at the top left. And I'm going to add that calendar. Now, because this is a free plan, you only get one power up per board. So I get this message saying it's reached power up limit. That means that the power up has actually been applied. I get a little confused by this when I first saw it. The power up has been applied just means you can't add any more. So it's not that you can't add in the calendar. It's actually added in there, but you can't add any more. So I'm going to just dismiss that message and close. So you've got our, we've got our little workflow here with our blog posts and you see the calendar button has popped up at the top right over here. If I click on that, I now get this calendar. If I scroll down on the 24th, you can see I have a blog post here that is 20 tips to shred fat. And of course, if I wanted, want to, I can move that around. I can say, yep, no, maybe I'll post that in a week. And maybe I'm happy. So it's a good way of tracking your jobs and planning your calendar. Now this is where you can also change it to a weekly sort of situation here and go across week by week. But uh, I prefer the monthly view because you can get a quick overview of what's going on. But this is where you can start to really uh, make something uh, better from. If I click on this here, it'll actually show the word blog post. So I'm going to do that because I want that to show up a bit more easily. Now let's say this time I'm going to five exercises to build muscle. I want it to be strictly a YouTube video. I can go do the same thing as before. I can add in my information here. I can also you know, add comments and pictures as I go. But I'm going to focus here on another label. I'm going to go red. I'm going to say edit this and say you. YouTube video. Now you can add a whole bunch of these if you want to. You can call it podcasting, whatever, save that. And um, I've got my YouTube video. So let's say I've written, I've planned it, and I've got to produce the video. Once again, if I want to add it to the calendar, I simply click here. And where I click on due date, I can decide this one I will do on the 21st. Save. I can 
close that card. Like I said, this is all in the app as well. I go to my calendar. And you can see here I've got a YouTube video for the 21st, which is really cool. So you can actually kind of label what they are and you can see what you're actually creating on your calendar as you go. The other thing too is let's say with a YouTube video, I want to uh, add a few more steps. You've got a few things down here. I can actually add a checklist. So I might call this video process. And maybe I want to add a checklist item so I can say uh, film. I'll say record because you might be doing a screen capture or you might be doing uh, you know, camera. So record, edit, export, upload. Which means if I go out and I record the video, I can tick this off. And then when I'm ready and I want to edit it, I finished editing, I do that. Maybe I haven't exported it yet. I go away for a few days, come back, I export it. We get this nice little progress bar but I haven't uploaded it yet. At any point, I can actually open this up and when I finish and I click upload, this, to, this turns green and you can see we get this nice little green box to show that it's ready to go, which means I can now move it across. So I can actually do that quite easily and if I decide that I wanna actually take this one here, Top Fitness Gurus on YouTube, maybe I wanna make that a YouTube video and a blog post and I wanna add in my checklist, I can go to the checklist here copy an item and go, I want to copy this video process checklist and add it in there. Same as before. The thing is I can still add other checklists for blog posts. So, you know, I can, um, yeah, go okay. blog post and I can add further items. So I can say, you know, uh, maybe I dot point everything out before I've done. Maybe I format it after uh, I write it up. format it, proofread, etc. So you can add in these nice nifty little checklists and maybe you've actually um, proofread it before you formatted it. So you can go through and do that. So it's a really powerful tool. So one thing I'll do, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna add all these on just so you can see how it looks on the calendar. So due date, we're gonna go say the 16th, save that. And this one is uh, ready to be produced. This way, funnest ways to keep fit, all good to go. We're going to say the 27th and we're going to actually make that one just a blog post. And I'm going to move that one over to schedule because we're good to go. And I'm just going to basically pop these in randomly. And obviously, if you've got a full content um, schedule, these rows all might be completely full. So once again, due date, 30th. And of course, this one is, got a label for a minute, a YouTube video and a blog post. This one here is just a YouTube video. The due date is the 8th. Due soon, as you can see, because it's due tomorrow, it says due soon. Actually highlights that yellow. And this one here, we're gonna make the due date, uh, we'll say 26th. This one is a blog post. Okay, so now I've got all these bits of content here ready to go. If I click on my calendar, I can see what's a video, what's a blog post. I can move things around and say, oh, these two are too close together. I'm going to move this one to the following week. And you can just reorganize and do things exactly the way you need to there. So you create this awesome sort of content calendar in your Trello for your core content and blog posts, which is really handy, uh, really useful. So this is the exact same thing you can do for your social media. So let's say, so we've got this done. This is for our core content. We go back to our boards. We go to social media. And we've got right content, create image slash produce video schedule. So let's say we've got our ideas. I'm going to say idea one. Maybe I've got uh, weight loss tips post before and after of Johnny Jones, not the MMA fighter, just some random. And we've got our bits and pieces here. So I've got uh, maybe another one. We're going to go, you know, motivational video, a motivational quote. We'll go motivational quote. Once again, I can add information here. If I want to add my checklist, I can create a custom checklist. But the good news is on a different board, I can have completely different labels. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to add 
let's say I'm going to put this across a number of platforms. Blue will be Facebook. Purple will be Instagram. Red will be, let's say, Pinterest. And you can simply go from there. Orange, maybe orange is um, something else like Twitter. So we can do the exact same thing as before. And we can go due date. We want to post this one on the 17th. And maybe it's ready to schedule. Maybe the weight loss tips post. Maybe I've got to, uh, you know, I've written it. Maybe I've just got to create some imagery. However, this one, I don't want it to go on Pinterest. I'm just going to go Twitter. Go to Twitter and Facebook for that one. Move it in before and after. And this one, I'm going to go say the 29th. This one's going to be Pinterest, Instagram because they're visual. Maybe I decide I want to go to Facebook later. And we've got just bits and pieces there. So I actually haven't added due dates for all of these yet. One way you can tell is that date pops up underneath the heading here. So this one doesn't have a due date. So I'll make this one the 17th. So I'm just sort of being a little bit random here uh, to show you how you can do. We've got two on April 17th, so we can see how that's going to look. Um, idea one doesn't have a social media. We're going to make that just Facebook, Instagram. So we've got four posts. You probably would have more than this if you're actually following a video another video I've done which uh, or sorry that I'm working on talks about how to plan your social media out for you know the week months whatever ahead um, this this tool will be perfect for that so now if I go up to my calendar close this down you can see now I've actually got two on this one page so I'm gonna go I'll put that on the 14th I can scroll through and see what networks they're going on. So let's say I've got this one here. Let's say I want to actually do the Instagram post at a different time to Facebook for whatever reason. Now what I can do is I can right click and I can copy this card. Now I'm going to just go create card. On this one I'm going to go in, I'm going to go into labels, I'm going to turn off Instagram and close it. And this one here I'm going to go in. So I might have all the information on there. I might have everything ready to go. And I might have even had it in my little schedule column. And uh, I'm going to just basically duplicate the information. So it's there for reference. But I'm just changing, splitting the card so I can change the date. So this one's going to go out a day early. Go on to my calendar. You can see we've got before and after Johnny Jones, before and after Johnny Jones, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. So it's pretty pretty easy to follow, pretty powerful. Um, it's just a nice way for you to be able to keep track. You can just keep the comment stream going for a long time. I've got one of these with uh, post ideas, which literally just goes for pages and pages and pages. Um, there's some really cool stuff here. You can even make templates for this. Uh, it's just a really, really cool um, tool for planning your content. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, like I said, Trello is a free tool. Um, I will pop a link up on the screen. It is an affiliate link. So uh, if you do happen to actually sign up for a premium version of the tool, I do get a little bit of a kickback. But uh, honestly, the free version is pretty much all you need. Um, so yeah, feel free to check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. See ya.